what's going on everybody welcome to midtown outdoors in the backyard <laughs> me and chase been clearing out that thicket over there uh it was pretty nasty so we cleared it out i had a bunch of limbs in the yard so i want to burn them up <clears throat> so i'm gonna burn all that up but i did use stuff from my actual fire kit use dryer lint i used two pieces of that um um boxed um i think over here in a second fatwood um some jute twine all things i would have in my fire kit on still pretty wet ground you're gonna have to use as much as you can out of your fire kit to get it going um so yeah it's a little bit chore but it got it went going um, I was trying without the jute twine and dryer lint and I think I would have been here for a little while um, there's no any tall dry grass to use it's all crap so I got it going first time I've had a fire in the actual fire pit in quite some time so anyways I got uh, I'm just throwing this thing all over the place. Now I'm going to burn up these twigs and stuff. And I could probably pick up for another two hours. But uh, basically, the tools we've been using today are my... Uh, of course, I use a hedge printer. But uh, to get all this stuff going, I use my knife. Doing some trimming. I use my... Baco Laplander. There you go. And then I use Dad's little hatchet. It's a true tamper made in the USA. And it's done its job. So, anyway, just burning up some old crappy wood, twigs and stuff. Told the wife, I said, we're going off tonight. I'm going to go out there and build a fire, so I'll have to take a shower. She hates it. <laughs> All right, guys. Appreciate you. Um, there'll more come. We just got kind of a dead couple weeks here. So I thought I'd film this. Oh, yeah. I am drinking coffee. Get my coffee out here. So with all that, short, sweet, keeping it in heat. Be prepared. Mm -hmm. 